And thanks for joining us tonight for your 10 at 10 on Fox 9 and Fox Local. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Huckert. Today, voters in 16 states and one territory choose who they want to run for president. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look at some of the results. Here in Minnesota, President Biden taking the Democratic nomination, which is not surprising. The other numbers, though, interesting, uncommitted, 20 percent. Dean Phillips behind the uncommitted. And on the Republican side, Donald Trump declared the winner in Minnesota, 66% of the vote so far to Nikki Haley's 32%. But one of the biggest takeaways from both parties, the number of those uncommitted voters tonight. I think a lot of people in my generation are really sick of the, the game mm. and just like, hey, we would like some other choices beyond the same old. And that's been a common theme from voters tonight. Certainly not everybody's opinion, but seemingly more than in years past. Through these primary elections and caucuses so far, Washington, D.C. and Vermont are the only locations to vote in somebody other than Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Vermont, very close tonight, but for many of these decisions, it was not close at all. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us now live. And Rose, with things already seemingly decided, it looks like voter turnout was pretty low today in Minnesota. Yeah, not every voter was thrilled with the choices today, but some of them explained to us that they feel it's important to vote anyway. I'm not particularly excited about anyone on the ballot, but it's important to, you know, use what little voice I have. It wasn't a strong excitement about the candidates that led these South Minneapolis voters to the polls on Super Tuesday. Still, they make a point of casting a ballot on Election Day, regardless of the choices. Building the habit and continuing to vote, making sure I do it every year. Um, you know, it's just a, a good habit for me to be in. We need to support support the um, elected officials that, um, that we think will do a good job or have been doing a job. And I think Joe Biden has been really underrated. Others at Bryant Square Park recognizing that this election could be a foregone conclusion as President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump remain the front runners. I don't think I would have come out to vote had there not been the protest movement for the uncommitted vote because I think that that is the case that we are pretty locked into the two candidates as they stand right now. Naomi Vaughn calling this a system of the best worst options. She says voting uncommitted was her way of lodging her complaint about the handling of the Israel Hamas war. Uncommitted vote has been like an effective way of just showing numbers of dissatisfaction. I think in Michigan, when it was 100,000 voters um, voting uncommitted, that was like a pretty powerful statement. Three of the four voters we talked to today specifically cited the handling of the Israel-Hamas war as a top issue that brought them to the polls today. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. All right, taking a look at Super Tuesday results now from other states. President Biden winning all of the Democratic primary so far tonight. That includes Utah, which was just called here very recently. And to the Republican primaries now, where Donald Trump winning all of the states so far, except for Vermont. Very close race that went to Nikki Haley. She received 50% of those votes compared to Donald Trump's 46%. And she leads, uh, she uh, was leading there by about 3,000 votes. And this is Haley's first win of Super Tuesday. She did win uh, the D.C. delegates over the weekend. Also tonight, we are waiting on results from Utah's GOP primary. And then the polls just closed in California. And Alaska is still open for another hour. And as for the bigger picture here, Joe Biden has 497 delegates. He needs 1,968 to get the nomination. Donald Trump has 393. Nikki Haley has 47. And 1,215 is what's needed for that GOP nomination. 